Hi guys, I'm so glad you're here on the DISH website. Um, so glad you're visiting. If you're a fellow DISHy, I hope that you will find useful information out here. Um, even if you've had DISH for a long time, perhaps something you didn't know um, that will be helpful. If you're newly diagnosed with DISH disease, I hope and pray that this site will give you hope that there are others out there who suffer with you and understand you completely. Um, if I keep looking down, it's because I have my notes here. I'm not a professional videographer, and I'm sorry about the, the fact that this is a little uh, grainy, but with COVID going on, I'm not able to get it professionally done, and that's okay. The message is still the same. So while there's no cure for dish disease, there are things that can make life better and um, help you tolerate the pain better, hopefully. So I hope that you find many things on this site that are useful. So I just wanna take a minute to share some of my story. It's gonna be very brief um, in this intro video, but I will be sharing more videos as time goes on, probably on a monthly basis, just talking about various dish-related topics and things that we all deal with and try to navigate with this nasty disease. So it took me five years to get a firm diagnosis of dish disease, and then it took me another five years to find a doctor who even really knew anything about dish disease. The doctors I had seen um, pretty much said, yeah, you have dish disease, I don't know what to tell you. It was, it was shocking. So if you're new to this site and you've experienced that, you are not alone. I think most of us have gone through that. Don't give up. Don't settle for a doctor who doesn't get it. Um, there's very few doctors who know as much as we do about dish disease, but the goal would be to at least find one who will listen to you and will respect the fact that you do know a lot about dish disease. It's your disease, you've researched it, you've talked with others who have it. So keep going because I finally found a physiatrist who has been extremely helpful to me. I first heard about that type of doctor, a physiatrist, on the Facebook dish forum, the dish support forum. If you're not on that, you've got to get on it. So many wonderful people out there. Hello, my fellow Dishy Forum people. Um, and yeah, that's where I heard about it. And so I found one locally and he's amazing. And like I said, he's been very helpful and um, he listens when I tell him things I know about dish disease that he did not know. And he um, he's concerned with quality of life for me. And that's what he keeps talking about is, we can't do anything about the dish disease, but how do we keep you mobile? How do we, you know, make things better for you? And so I really appreciate that. <clears throat> as far as my experience with dish, um, at this point in time in my life, I have lost most mobility in my neck and in my ribs, predominantly on the right side. My neck has both sides, but predominantly on the right side in my my ribs. Um, I've lost much mobility in my right hip and my right ankle. Uh, my right hip is very unpredictable, so there are times when I use a cane more frequently, actually. Um, I have bone spurs pushing in weird places that causes pain throughout my whole body, um, tingling sensations and other things. Just last week, I found, I reached back to scratch my head and I have a very large bone growth on the back of my head. I went right to my dish forum on Facebook and said, guys, help. I found this horrible bone growth in the back of my head. And what was reassuring, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it, but there were so many people who posted back and said, I have it too. And, you know, so it just, it helps so much to be in touch with other people who understand your plight and, and what's going on. Um, I can walk for about a half a block before the muscles in my hips and my lower back completely seize up. I, I guess from, you know, the, the bone growth and everything pushing and scraping in there. And then I have to sit down immediately, um, and can only probably try to walk again after maybe 30 minutes to an hour. So it does limit how much walking I can do, obviously. 
For the pain, at this point, I'm not on medications. Um, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be on medications. For those of you that are, I'm so sorry that it came to that, and I know that I could be faced with that someday. For now, I am doing hot tub therapy, uh, my own physical therapy here at home that I learned from a physical therapist, daily stretching, meditation, and a ton of prayer. And I'm not kidding about that. Um, I do have a personal relationship with God, and that has truly been what has carried me through most of this and has helped me so much. As far as work, I am still working full time. Um, you know, my, my entire sense of purpose comes from God, but my work is a reflection of that, and it means so much to me. I love my job, I love my coworkers. Um, okay, I have to give a shout out to Stable Hollow Construction and MR Roofing. Love you guys. They have been so supportive of me through this journey uh, in, di in discovering more about dish disease and, and, you know, just the emotional struggles of it too. And, and I cannot thank them enough for being so kind hearted and loving towards me um, and supporting me in this. So going to work for me is a real joy. It distracts me from the pain. It gives me something else to focus on. Um, how long will I be able to do that and work full time? I, I have no idea. At this point, it's working. So, you know, I'm going to keep doing it. Family and friends. That's a whole topic. <clears throat> how has this affected my relationship with family and friends? I'm going to talk about that in a separate video because it'll probably be like a four hour video. Okay, I won't do a four hour video, I promise, but it will be, you know, a longer video just talking about some of the things we navigate when we're first diagnosed, how to tell people about it and how to deal with some of the responses you get, which are less than great. So we'll address that another time. You know, at the end of the day, what we're all trying to do is find a new purpose. Our life has been turned upside down. Truly, you've been thrown into this medical world with a, a rare diagnosis that is misunderstood and there's even lots of bad information out there, even on well-known hospital websites. Things that say, oh, dish disease is common and doesn't cause, you know, many symptoms or no pain. That's just insane. And it makes it even more frustrating for us. So, you know, back to, to finding a new purpose. Um, listen, you will. It, it's a grieving process when you're first diagnosed. I went through it. It's not fun. You will come out on the other side. But one of the best ways to do that is to connect with other people. And if you check out the map on the website, um, you know, hopefully you can find people even close to you that you could have coffee with or, or at least talk with. Uh, by phone or, or whatever. Just knowing that someone's close means a lot and, and helps with the emotional support end of things. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. That's another thing. I have so much bro bone growth in my neck that it pushes on my esophagus and so my voice has changed and I have to clear it a lot and blah, blah, blah. You dishies know what I'm talking about. Um, so what I would say is I want to offer you all hope because without hope it's impossible to deal with this. Um, one of my favorite Bible verses is now may God, the source of hope, fill you with all joy and peace as you believe so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13. Another one <clears throat> that I love is yes, my soul find rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. And that's uh, Psalms, I think, 62. So those are very near and dear to my heart and bring me great comfort during very difficult days. So again, thank you for visiting this site. For those of you who supported this site through GoFundMe, thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessings to you. you you're making such a difference in people's lives. You don't even know. Um, and I thank you for believing in me and my dream for this website. So thanks again. Love you all. And I will do another video again soon. So check back. Thanks.